In today's world, a lot of things seem to be fleeting. Friendships, family, love. Is there anything that can last in an imperfect world? There is. Abs that stand the test of time. All right guys, so this is a good core routine that I'm gonna show you that are gonna get you those abs that stand the test of time. So the first one is the plank, the basic plank. Holding on my forearms, navel's drawn in, and I'm just holding this position. Okay, so I'm really using my core to stabilize here and not my shoulders. I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds after that. Now I'm gonna bring one knee in, back out. Bring the other knee in, back out. This is gonna activate my obliques as well as the front of my core. All right, so I'm gonna do about 10 of those. Good. All right, then I'm flipping over. Now I'm on my back. One leg's extended, arms extended, and I'm just crunching. So I'm meeting in the middle, and I'm back down. So I flex, extend, flex, extend. This is a good one, guys. This is really gonna burn my core up, give me great results. So again, do about 10 on each side. And then lastly, I'm staying on my back. My feet are in the air, knees bent, heads off the ground. And now I'm just gonna use my core and I'm gonna rock in a circular motion. And I'm really isolating here. I'm not using my momentum like this to rock up and down. I'm just isolating my core. And then I can switch directions. This looks really easy and it might look kind of silly, but I promise you, if you do it properly, it's probably the toughest core exercise you'll do. Oh, all right, so if you can do that for about a minute, each direction after you've done everything else, you're gonna get those abs that stand the test of time. Thanks again for watching, guys. I look forward to posting more videos. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. The reason why I have my feet in the air is because that engages my core a little more. And if I extend my legs, that'll engage my core a little more as well.